The EPG and ERA air cleaner series have been designed for superior on-highway performance. Both incorporate Donaldson Radial Seal sealing technology, which offers improved reliability and durability, reduced weight and costs, and better serviceability. EPG air cleaners overcome underhood space limitations. The ERA replaces the older cowl-mounted EBA cylindrical axial seal style air cleaner and provides reliable filtration with simplified servicing. Here are the service steps for both units. Step 1. Check the filter service indicator. Filter service indicators mounted on the air cleaner system are recommended for monitoring the air cleaner restriction level and indicating when servicing is due during normal operation. Replace the filter only when the restriction level has reached the maximum recommended by the engine or equipment manufacturer. If the restriction level is in question, or to test the initial restriction, remove the filter service indicator and measure the system restriction using a clock type restriction gauge or a water manometer. For more on Donaldson restriction indicators and measuring tools, see module A18. Step 2. Remove the filter. Unfasten or unlatch the service cover. Because the filter fits tightly over the outlet tube to create the critical seal, there will be some initial resistance similar to breaking the seal on a jar. Gently move the end of the filter back and forth to break the seal. Rotate while pulling the filter straight out. Avoid knocking the filter against the housing. Step 3. Check the evacuator valve. If your air cleaner is equipped with evacuator valve, visually check and physically squeeze it. Make sure the valve is flexible and not inverted, damaged, or plugged. Replace it if damaged or if it looks like any of these photos. A damaged or missing evacuator valve will disrupt the design flow of air through the air cleaner. Disrupted airflow can reduce the service life of the air filter by as much as 50%. Step 4. Inspect the old filter. Inspect the old filter for any signs of leaks. A streak of dust on the clean side of the filter is a telltale sign. Eliminate any source of air leaks before installing the new primary filter. Step 5. Visually inspect the safety filter. If your air cleaner has a safety filter, do a visual inspection for damage. Verify that the safety filter is properly seated in the housing. Do not remove the safety filter, however, unless it is damaged or due for replacement. The safety filter should be replaced every three primary filter changes. When you remove the safety filter, replace it immediately or make sure you cover the air cleaner outlet tube to avoid admitting any contaminant. Step 6. Clean both surfaces of the outlet tube. Use a clean damp cloth to wipe the filter sealing surface and the inside of the outlet tube. Contaminant on the sealing surface could hinder an effective seal and cause leakage. Engine manufacturers say that it takes only a few grams of dirt to seriously damage an engine. Step 7. Inspect the new filter. Visually inspect the new filter paying special attention to the sealing area which is inside the open end. As you inspect the filter's radial seal, take care not to wipe the sealing surface. The factory has placed a dry lubricant on the seal which aids in installation and removal. Never install a damaged filter. Step 8. Insert the new radial seal filter properly. If you're servicing the safety filter at this changeout, carefully seat it into position before installing the primary filter. Seat the filter by hand, making certain it is completely inserted into the air cleaner housing before securing the cover in place. To complete a tight seal, apply pressure by hand at the outer rim of the filter, not the flexible center. Note that a cover gasket is usually supplied with ERA replacement filters. 
it is important that it be fitted at the same time as the new filter to ensure that the housing is airtight. Never use the service cover to push the filter into place since no cover pressure is required to hold the seal. Using the cover to apply pressure could damage the housing and cover fasteners and will void the warranty. If the new filter is not fully in place, remove the cover and push the filter further into the air cleaner with hand pressure on the outer rim. The cover should then go on with no extra force. Then secure the service cover. Step 9. Check connectors for a tight fit. Make sure restriction indicators are reset and in proper working order. Verify that all mounting bands, clamps, bolts, and connections in the entire air cleaner system are tight. Check for holes in piping and repair or replace as needed. Any leaks in the intake piping will admit dust directly to the engine. To conclude our training module, let's summarize the service steps presented. Check the filter service indicator. Remove the service cover if applicable and then remove the used primary filter. Check the vacuator valve. Inspect the used primary filter. Visually inspect the safety filter. If not servicing the safety filter, do not remove to inspect. If servicing the safety filter, remove and inspect. Clean the gasket sealing surface. Inspect the new filters. Install the safety filter if applicable and then install the primary filter. Check the entire air system for worn or loose components. This servicing information is provided as a best practices guide. It is not, however, intended to replace or supersede the service instructions supplied by your engine or vehicle manufacturer.